Hi, my name is Caroline Blank and I'm applying to SDSU's Multiple Subject Credential Program and I'm so excited to share a little bit about myself with you today. One strength that I would like to touch on is my ability to hold myself as a confident educator in front of a classroom. As a young teacher who will be new to the field of education, it will be important for me to hold myself as a respectable and well-spoken teacher in order to maintain order within my classroom and effectively teach my students in a clear manner. This confidence will allow me to create strong relationships with my fellow teachers, which will foster a positive work environment. I am certain that I am graduating from Cal Poly Slow, having gained all the tools necessary to be a competent and influential teacher, which will allow me to take on any challenges that come my way with a level head. Speaking of challenges, I fully understand that being a teacher will come with many ups and downs, yet I am excited to grow from these experiences to become a well-rounded educator. One challenge that I anticipate that I will have to overcome is learning how to individualize each student's educational experience. I understand that each student has individualized needs that need to be met in order to succeed academically, and that some students will need additional support and structure to meet all goals, while keeping in mind that expectations for all students should be equal. While I feel prepared to meet the needs of every student, I expect that it will take time for me to understand how to effectively individualize each student's experience while conducting daily group lessons. This is a skill that can only be learned through practice, but I am certain that through the course of my student teaching, I will understand how to help each student succeed. An experience that has helped me develop my strategies as a teacher was my field experience at Pacheco Elementary School, which is a local bilingual school. Students in this second grade classroom typically spoke Spanish or English at home. These students thrived in lessons taught in their home language and struggled in lessons taught in the other language. I learned how to aid language de development through seating students with opposing first languages next to each other so that peer teaching could occur naturally. This concept of peer aid can apply be applied to other situations, such as subject competence as well. I feel prepared to apply this approach to the classroom that I will student teach in, knowing that not all learning will come from me directly as a teacher, but that I can indirectly foster learning. Thank you for your time today, and I hope you consider me as a strong, confident, and experienced candidate for SDSU's Multiple Subject Credential Program. Go Aztecs!